to our live. We are super excited. We've been hashtagging the word choice for a week in our story cell class. We're super excited to share the quote that we've been inspired by, and that is by Wayne Dyer. And the quote is this, be miserable or motivate yourself. Whatever has to be done, it's always your choice. So I'm going to start with my first panelist to tell us what she thinks about this whole week. I'm going to turn it over to you, Kiwi. What did you think of the hashtag choice in that quote? Well, I love Wayne Dyer, by the way. And let me tell you, this quote is incredible because it's always about choice. But what, what I think with this quote is, is where our mindsets are when we make that choice. We always have the choice, right? So we can either move in motivation or be miserable. We can be happy or sad. It's always a choice. But mm -hmm. with that, we truly need training, we need coaching, we need to be polished, we need confidence so that we can make those better choices with a better mindset. Back to you, Nicole. Woo! Mindset is everything. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kimi. All right, Crazy Cat Mac, you're up next. What's your thoughts? So mine is very similar to Coach Kiwi, and it's all about your mindset. And we all have that internal mean person who wants to remind us that we're not good enough, right? And it's our choice whether we listen to that person or we say, I'm not going to accept that. And I am an amazing, awesome, wonderful creature of God. And I was here to do big things and get up and get going, right? And just take some action. It's a choice. Wow. Wow. I just love how everyone has a different take on these quotes. This is amazing to me. Thank you so much, Kat, for sharing. All right, Nancy Mays, you are up, darling. Well, I always try to see the glass half full, not half empty. And I try to get up every day and see the good in everything. You know, you're breathing. Uh, it's the sun shining. And even when it rains, I'm still happy. So I just think that you need to think that it could be worse. So I never look at anything, you know, that it's, that it's bad. Well, it's definitely a choice to wake up with that mindset. Awesome, Nancy. Thanks so much. And your posts have been amazing. So that totally dictates exactly what you just said. Thank you so Thanks. much. Definitely. All right, Miss Noel, up to your next calling from California today. That's right. I'm in Los Angeles. So yeah, I'll piggyback off what everyone said. And especially with Nancy, can you hear me? Okay. I hear a weird sound. Okay. Um, just that we have a glass to begin with is something to be thankful for. So really our, our choices are that in every moment. And sometimes life gives us circumstances where we just have to accept, but Every day, every moment, there is a choice. And so choose to see the best in the situation. It always makes things so much better. That's Amen. it for me. Yeah, yeah. We can all give you the hands up like with that one. For sure. Doing the best you can every day is, is really is a choice. Thanks so much, Noel, no matter what the circumstances. I appreciate that. Miss Beautiful Lenore, you are on, girl. Hi. Thanks for having me, everybody. Hello, Facebook. I got a little delay, but anyway, can you hear me okay? I hear you just fine. Okay. So choice to me, I, I love this. Um, I love this quote because every day, every moment, every second is a choice. Mm. And we have a choice because we can be, you know, wake up and have a great day and then something can happen. And so then it's our choice to determine how are we going to spend that day? Are we going to continue to let the day just go to the left and we're going to be miserable? Or mm -hmm. we have a choice to shake it off, go within ourselves to our spirit mm -hmm. and pull something from there and move forward and continue to just be grateful and enjoy the day. So that's my, that's my spin on it. And uh, Ooh, I love that. I love it, Lenore. Thank you so much. Being grateful and gratitude and looking to yourself. Oh, fabulous. Good stuff. Thank you so much. All right, Miss Beautiful Carmen, all the way from Canada. Welcome. Hope you're muted. I'm going to unmute you. Start. I got you. Go ahead. Can't hear you. Try one more time. 
Can you hear me? Now I got you. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, good. This quote actually made me think of my tattoo arrow. And okay. a tattoo arrow, one arrow, means when you, when you pull an arrow backwards, it has a symbolize, symbolizing when life is dragging you back with difficulties, it means you can launch it into something great. And it's your choice to just focus, keep your aim on the target, and hit your target. And that's my choice for today. Wow. Now I'm just going to go get a tattoo. I'm just going to match. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. And we really do have a choice to really, anything that is pulling you back, we do have the choice to move forward. That is awesome. Thanks, Carmen. All right, so I have Catherine. Kathy, you're up next, beautiful. So mine tied in to last week. Last okay. week we learned our reasons. My mother always told us that we needed to make good choices, but it's really hard to make good choices if you don't know why, mm. where you're headed. So last week when we did our reason, we knew that it was for family. So this week when we had to make choices, whether to go to work, whether to be, <laughs> you know, upset, we had to remember what our reasons were and our whys. And so I thought we were building. <laughs> That's what I got. No, I love it. Choices. Yeah. I love it. Thank you so much. So let me ask you, Catherine, if, if you want to come back on for just a second. So what is one thing that you've made a choice about this week that has moved you forward from where you were before? Um, well, my family thinks I made some really good choices this weekend not to let, um, people interfere with our joy. Oh. Where normally I'm very soft hearted. I would allow, you know, I would say, Oh, just come on. We'll just, you know, we'll fit you in whatever. But, um, I've had to stand firm and it made for a really nice weekend for all of our family. Oh, let's give her a hands up for that one. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Kathy, for sharing that big changes, big changes happen in this group. All right. I have Heather Sanders. You're up next. Gorgeous. <clears throat> Hey, hon, I can't think, I can't think of choice without accountability because mm. growing up in the young women's program in my church, that was one of our young women values was choice and accountability. So mm. you do have a choice in whatever you do, but whether it's good or bad, you're going to be accountable for it. So if you decide to be miserable, you're going to be miserable and you're going to be accountable for that. And you'll just continue. But if you decide to look at that, just like she, it was previously said that be thankful and grateful for the glass that you have one and you'll be accountable for your gratitude. Mm. I love, thank you so much, Heather. That was beautiful. And certainly a life lesson for all of us to definitely be accountable for our choices. Amen, girl. All right, so I have Miss Wanda Kyle. You are up, beautiful girl. Can't hear you yet. Oh, go ahead and try again. I'm gonna, there we go. Oh, okay. there yeah. you go. Are you <laughs> hearing me? We're good. <laughs> me and the internet. Hey, I'm sitting on the side of the road. So I made the choice to stop and take the time to come home and share a choice with you. So um, I'm actually about 20 minutes. No, I'm about 10 minutes from home. But instead of driving on home, I, I, I made the choice to stop and do this on the side of the road. So that's my choosing to make a choice today. How about that? <laughs> well, you made something a priority, right? And that's, that's a big step in the right direction for anything that we want to accomplish is to have our priorities in front of us. And this is one of your priorities. So high five to you, girl, for being present for this one. I thank you so much. All right. I have Miss Betty Manning. Beautiful girl. You are up next. Hi. Um, to me, choice, uh, it's about my lifestyle being choice uh, because it's different than most people. And I love my horses and the country life and it's in my bones. So that's the choice I make. And I try to just 
you know, live and be, you know, pure with, you know, with my life out here in the country. I love that. All right. Who can, who can attest to living the life that you want? And that's a choice. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Betty, for sharing and for coming on tonight. I'm so grateful for you. So my turn is that I really believe that not only do we have a choice, but that we also need some help in making some choices every now and then. And when we've decided to go forward in our life, you know, lots of things can come in and interrupt you. Some things can be distractions. Some things can be just meant to completely derail you, whether it's from yourself, your own mindset, you know, just getting off kilter, off focus from where it is you want to go and asking for help and perhaps even getting a coach or something like that has really helped me to stay. And it's been a, probably the best choice I've, I have made in the last year. I have a mentor, a coach, a business consultant, and I use all three of them in the businesses that I have when something comes up is now I know instead of trying to struggle through all those things by myself, I choose to get in touch with one of those people and inevitably I'm back on track faster than I was trying to do it on my own. So those are our thoughts. We thank everybody for watching us tonight. Everyone say bye-bye Facebook. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.